If you intend to use grid notes, you will need to set up note keys. These keys are the method in which goals are addressed. Typically, the keys are used to show the intervention that was provided against each goal, and then an assessment is made to indicate whether or not those interventions assisted the client in reaching the goal. However, you have full control over how you set up your key types. To be sure of this setup, let's look at an example of how the keys are displayed on the note. Your keys will be listed along the top of the note, and your outcomes will be listed along the side. Your staff will then mark against each goal what key was used in addressing the goal. Here's an example of some intervention keys. I is marked when the goal was completed independently. VP is used to show the number of verbal prompts provided to meet the goal. G is used to mark when a gesture was provided, and so on. Some examples of some assessment keys are Y to show that yes, the goal was met. NA, that the goal was not applicable for the day, R, for the client refused the goal, and N, for no, this goal was not met. When you set up the keys, you will have the option of marking whether or not a key requires a comment. This will enforce your staff to input additional details when any one of your intervention or assessment keys are used. You may set the keys up uniquely for each service that you provide, allowing you to tailor them to each of your service's documentation requirements. For example, let's take a look at a note for another service where the keys have been set up differently. For this particular service, we have decided to use only the assessment keys, leaving off our intervention keys. This allows you plenty of flexibility on setting up various styles of grid notes to accurately document amongst your different service codes. It is also important to understand how your keys will be used when measuring progress against goals. If we go to the dashboard desktop, you will see that you'll have the ability to generate graphs once you have implemented the grid notes. The graphs aggregate the data from the interventions and assessment keys to show progress against goals. In the intervention used by ISP goal dashlet, we are showing the percentage of time the intervention keys were used to meet the goal. By hovering our mouse over each line, you will see each goal and the interventions used for the specified period of time. And in the assessment of progress by ISP goal graph, we show the percentage of time the assessment keys indicated whether or not the goal was met. Again, hovering your mouse over the lines will display the goal and its associated assessments. You may also hit export from the graphs to generate a report. So, you can see that the way in which your keys are configured is critical in understanding how your goals are being worked. Now that you have an understanding of the purpose behind the note keys, let's look at how you will create them. Click on Configure. From there, click List Configuration, Services, and Note Keys. Click Add Note Key and select whether this is an intervention or an assessment key. If you determine that you need a note key type other than intervention and assessment to label your keys under, then submit a request to our support department by going to Options, Support, Contact Support, and submitting your request. It is important to understand that any new note key type will not be able to be graphed to measure progress, so it is recommended to use the intervention and assessment key types. After clicking Add, enter in the key abbreviation. This is how the key will be displayed for the staff when they create their note. Enter in the key description. The descriptions will show up on the note report in the form of a legend. Here is an example of the note report and how the legend will be displayed.
To complete the data entry for the note key, you have the option to check the box for require comment. In doing so, the staff will then not be able to save their note unless they have entered in the comment field. Click Update to save the record. If you ever need to edit this key, click the Edit icon. To delete it, click Delete. Repeat these steps to continue building your keys. The keys will display on the note in the order they are listed here. To change the order, drag and drop the keys until they are in their desired order. Once you have created all of your note keys, then you will assign the keys to the service. Please see the video for assigning keys to understand those steps.